across the world, statues are under attack. Over the past two weeks, monuments to an uncomfortable past have been defaced, beheaded and pulled down. But does this new wave of activism represent an iconic moment in our history, or simply the erasing of it? There's nothing new to people toppling structures they don't like. From Iraq, to Vietnam, to South Africa. Images of an old political order being swept away are sometimes the ones that resonate most. Take the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. A small act in itself, it has come to represent the end of communist rule in Eastern Europe, a seismic shift in world history. In each case, the toppling of a monument was meant to herald a new era. On the 7th of June 2020, protesters in Bristol attached ropes to a statue of Edward Colston, a 17th century slave trader, and pulled it down. Their action opened the floodgates on a debate which has been simmering for decades. You may not like what happened, and it may dist be distasteful for you, but you have to understand it. It's very difficult when people feel so ignored and their emotions are so high to have a nuanced debate about this. This is more complicated than Iraqi citizens dancing on the image of Saddam Hussein. The Black Lives Matter movement isn't attacking the memory of a fallen tyrant, nor any particular regime. It's challenging a system some see as being built on the repression of black people for 500 years. There isn't a physical manifestation of white supremacy that you can attack, but here is this monument that I can deface and I can spray paint and I can superimpose images of George Floyd on, and that's where I can express my rage and my anger. It's a legacy which taints many well-known figures from the past, from British explorers and imperialists to US politicians and generals. There are almost 800 Confederate statues in the United States. Removing all of them would represent a major turning point in how we relate to the past. The idea of having these monuments is about the continuity of this uh, power that is uh, white power, and if they remain around, is because racism and white supremacy uh, in this country, they are pretty much alive. In London, the mayor has already set up a review to ensure the capital's landmarks reflect the diversity of the city. The implications of its findings could be huge in the UK. That's why some groups have interpreted the recent protests as an attack on their cultural history. This is our country, we would not stand by and watch our monuments and memorials be vandalised. They've even resorted to violence to defend it. So, should they come down? That largely depends on what meaning you take from statues. Do they glorify the past or simply remind us of it? Either way, it's hard to argue that anyone is trying to erase history here. Whether the statues stand or fall, history is certainly being made.